What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Troop Talks here. And we are officially nine weeks into our NFL picks, locks, and upsets. And today we got all original four crew members in the building. So it's an exciting day. And, of course, we got Larry in the building. Fitz, how you doing, brother? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Just had a bye week. Just big chilling. Yeah, it, it might have been a relaxing day over at Fitz's residence mm-hmm. this weekend. I know I wasn't there. You know, mm-hmm. not not as rowdy this weekend. Not as many guests this week. Yeah, Barnage was there. Oh, so, so, so I guess. So, yeah, there's, there's still yep. some energy in that house. Exactly. The and, Raiders kind of got a, got a hold of them. They just... Barnage said it's it, this is how the Browns work. If they score over 30, they're going to win. Wow. And if they don't score that mark, it's an L. Hmm. That's just how it is. I think that's you can say that about any team though. I mean 30 points is a lot of points. But it's been a, it's actually been a common factor like they've scored in every win they've had, they've had at least 30. And yeah. when they're losing, they're losing by like twenty eight to seven or sixteen to six, like something that's just stupid. From but, uh, being that hot of an offense to be and then just go slow. But, but uh, we got to face off in fantasy this week. You took that L, obviously, yeah. because you're a joke. You know, <laughs> <laughs> got Nick Chubb, Kyler Murray, and Christian McCaffrey on the bench. <laughs> this, so I mean, I'm gonna that they'll all be back. When we play in the you know conference championship, so well, when we no play the cup, you mean when we play in the Super Bowl, well, the trophy? Yeah, I don't know about that. You it, better get past Connor, <laughs> or however the seeds lie. Shouts out to Connor. Speaking of uh, the fantasy league, a guy who's completely out of the playoff picture. <laughs> we got <laughs> Colch in the we got Colch in the building. Colch, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. I forgot my stuff. Yeah, you're a little frazzled when you walked into the door. I know. I I just totally forgot all my supplies that I needed. So yeah, you're you're a little late getting off of work today. Little, yeah, a little, little hard day today, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Long and hard like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too good of an opportunity. And that is why. We have 36 of you that loyally <laughs> listen to the NFL picks, locks, and upsets. And, of course, we got the crew douchebag in the building. Cam, how you doing, man? You know, I'm not doing too bad. I don't know why I put my uh, two fingers up but to say hello, but I Hey, no one, no one saw you put the two fingers up. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, the Patriots still... You know, actually, they put up a fight against Buffalo. I didn't actually uh, watch that game. Tell me uh, what went down there. You know, if I'm being honest, I didn't watch that game either. Uh, they're captain. Uh, I was uh, too busy sleeping in my bed. Was, they had a 10 o'clock game against the Bills, and it's just I knew it was going to be an L, so I just didn't want to watch my team just play like sh- I didn't want to watch Cam play like shit, and then our defense play off pretty good, and then let's lose, so. I just, didn't, I just didn't watch it, so I don't know. I, mean, like, I knew it was a close game, and I watched the highlights of it, and it looked not too bad, but Cam needs to learn. Our receivers need to learn how to get open, get separation. Cam needs to learn how to throw the ball and be more accurate, be more consistent, and then, shit, we got a, we got a team. There's a lot of things that need to come along. Yeah, definitely our Saturday night plans definitely didn't align with a 10 a.m. wake up call for a oh, hell no, for a, for a two and four Patriots team. That's oh, hell no. that's for sure. But now that we're officially past the uh, midway point of the season, now heading into week number nine, I do want to just kind of ask you guys, um, what are some of your expectations or some of the predictions that you guys had heading into this season that you can now say were a hundred percent right or just a hundred percent wrong uh fits let's go with you first well everybody was giving me crap about the miami dolphins <laughs> look at them now we're eight weeks deep they're four and three we're, we're eight weeks deep he's he's a my always I'm, been a dolphins I'm, I'm, fan. I'm with it i told <laughs> you guys ryan fitzpatrick with that team they're gonna be okay and he's kept them competitive in every game even against the Bills, the first time they played him, Ryan Fitzpatrick gave them the lead. 
the defense gave it up. But I think the defense is growing with each other. I think it was a great pickup by getting Van Noy and Jamie Collins back for the linebacker coach that used to be the Patriots linebacker coach that's now their yep, head coach, yep. Brian Flores. He was, he was pretty good. He was a pretty good linebacker's coach. Not exactly. Lie. He, so, uh, he coached uh, before it was Dante, David Mayo, and Brandon Spikes and all those guys before they went to shit. They were all, he, he coached Everybody them. was good with him, though. So yeah. Yeah. And bringing in the same guys with on that defense, I knew that they'd be fine. They got Byron Jones in the corner, Xavier Howard. They're looking good. They're playing Calvin, us. Calvin Noyes over there. Yeah, they're playing us, and I, I'm kind of scared. I think it could be a close one. Two uh, doesn't look too bad. I mean, they played for him last week. It was a whole team effort. It wasn't just Tua. It was special teams, defense, yeah. everything. So they're not playing too bad. It's a team effort. What's something that you think that you were wrong about this season? Mm. Something. I had a... Mm. Something that I was wrong about was the Tennessee Titans. Obviously. Oh, I was right about that. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was, yeah, I thought they'd kind of be like average. I didn't think they'd I be I thought hot. the Tennessee Titans were going to be like a 2017 Jags team where they paid the wrong quarterback. Ryan Tannehill is going to be average, but we love Ryan Tannehill. You know, we oh, love yeah. the average quarterbacks. But Ryan Tannehill playing like a top 10 quarterback. Elite. In the league. Yeah. So, I'm going to say I was wrong about the Titans. And one thing I was right about, and I don't think it's some hot thing to claim, but Sam Darnold is trash. Uh, the Jets yeah. the yeah. Jets are trash. That's some, you know, I I knew that heading into the season. But I think, like, teams are going to start doing what Arizona did. We were the worst team in the league two years ago. 3-13, and 13, the worst team. And now we transitioned with a quarterback, so that's what the Jets are going to do. Darnold's not the guy. Lawrence is the guy. He's not going to win a lot his first year, but he'll win a few games, and then the next year they're going to build to that. So I think Lawrence is the, that piece. That's if we don't get him. Uh, not, they, they're not winning. They're not winning two games. Cold, what were you right or wrong about? Man, I can't think about any, like, big things, but you were high on James Washington. I wasn't. <laughs> Still not there. You know, I'm, I it's not re- wasn't a prediction that I had, but uh, Chase Claypool, he's definitely surprised me. Chase Claypool, I had a conversation with a guy at work today, and he <laughs> said something that I think it's hitting the nail around the head with Chase Claypool, and that's Chase Claypool's everything that Martavis Bryant was supposed to be. Dude, I was watching some old clips about Martavis <laughs> Bryant and, like, Big Ben, when he used to throw, like, five, six touchdowns in a game, like, two or three of them would be of Martavis. But I think you hit it right on the head with that. I mean, Big Ben, low-key playing at an MVP level. I mean, this guy's... Big Ben is playing pretty I'm worried good. about Cameron Hayward. He got hurt in their last game mm-hmm. just playing a fight with the Ravens. He's their... I mean, that's the veteran piece to that D-line. Yeah. He, he is. is He is the glue. Right. But, I mean, we're still number one in sacks, and well, I, I, mean, I I still think we'll be... Everyone's still going to be elite without him, Yeah. but it's just that I love him. And mm-hmm. It's just tough to lose the leader of, yeah. of the whole clan. And I was also wrong about Josh Allen and the Bills. I already, I've, I've, I ver- knew Josh I've, ver- I've be verified good. that in like week five or week six, but <laughs> I will reiterate again. I was telling you that last year he was good. And I, I didn't believe it. I thought he was just an average quarterback that beat average teams, but he's looking, he's looking like a winner. I thought Fitz Magic was gonna play all year, man. I he had to. I man. thought he was. I knew. I knew he wasn't. Well, I it's knew like he three. Was he went three I was and, shocked. He three got pulled where he was, man. He they was they were well. winning, and he got benched because he they were winning by so much. It's mm-hmm. not like he got. And then they were like, "Oh, it's a bye week. Let's throw on the rookie." But it's like, I can't. I don't think you can do that to him, especially when he's playing every game they've been in. Uh, you can't kick six field goals against Russell Wilson. That's. I think that's just bad coaching. Mm-hmm. I think you have to go for touchdowns, and I think Ryan Fitzpatrick gets you those touchdowns. So No, he doesn't. I do. I think in the red zone, he does get you those touchdowns. He's done it before. I, I think you got to at tr- least... I don't, I don't trust him. I think you got to at least let him throw it. Mm-hmm. I don't trust him. So now and again, the midseason. Who is the midseason NFL MVP? Fitz, start with you. Mm, he, who, go rough. to your head right now. Who's the MVP? It's Russ. 
Russell Wilson. Yeah, he's he's on pace to have like the most touchdowns in a season. Who's, who, give me a sleeper pick for the MVP though. Somebody who might not you know get it, but Kyler. Ky- then that's I think fair. it's fair. I think it's fair. I think he's he's he did better than Lamar through seven weeks. Like the, his stats in every category are better: completion percentage, yards, rushing yards, touchdown, rushing touchdowns, all of it is better. I think if he keeps it going, that's a sleeper MVP. But I, I think Russ just got it on lock right now. Cam, who's the MVP? Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to agree with Fitz right there. I'm gonna have to go with Russ. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. Aaron Donald's looking pretty good. It's a good one. <laughs> I mean, take take a good sleeper defensive pick. That'd be fun. Cole, what about you? It has to be Russ, man. And like you said earlier, I mean, sleeper Big Ben. Yeah, he's I definitely mean, the comeback player of the year. Yeah, I think that's that a lot. No oh yeah, for sure. He's he's comeback he, and MVP though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you can't get both. Russell Wilson, MVP. Sleeper pick, not a popular one, but Tom Brady. I mean, Tom Brady's still doing his thing. That, yeah. yeah, I could see yeah. that. I, could give a, I think low-key, we should, for so far, I don't think this is a bad thing. We need to get sleeper. A... I think it's Tannehill should. Be dude, that's a no, dude. dude. No, no. I love me some Ryan. No, dude, he, he, he's a gun. Derrick Henry, yes. if you're gonna really I mean, do that, if, though. Derrick Henry. Okay, yeah, but Derrick Henry. Yeah, we know he's gonna rumble. Everybody should expect that. <laughs> but if you're the Steelers, going, they were up twenty-seven to three. Oh I yeah. Mean, most teams are like, we're done. No, undefeated. They're undefeated. They're, we're not gonna beat that team. Not Tannehill. Tannehill said, let's go. All right, let's throw some touchdowns. Let's get down the field. He came back. If Goskowski doesn't miss a field goal, comes down to a coin flip, and who knows at that point. Yeah. Tannehill's hot, and they've done it before in OT games where DH takes a 52-yard reception, and they're in red zone. So it's it's just interesting. I think he's a sleeper MVP, too, this year. I like that. I think, I think if Aaron Rodgers didn't lose Minnesota last week, I think Aaron Rodgers is yeah. another guy that would be in the discussion. Should have never done that triple bump ever since then. The curse. The curse of the triple bump. All right. So now after giving away some mid- mid-season awards, we're going to give out our mid-season power rankings for the picks. Cold, you weren't here. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have my, oh. I don't have any of my stuff right now. He doesn't have any of the stats. So, I mean, I'll... I didn't have a good week. I probably had like six or seven points, but or maybe seven or eight. I don't know. But I did get my upset right, but I got my lock wrong. Oh, so that <laughs> even so that was a big old goose egg right there. And yeah, I might be in like the sick low sixties. I'm not exactly sure. Well, the thing is, is we're gonna we're gonna so all the points will be in the description down below. So if mm-hmm. you want to get an updated race, we'll get Colgan's point totals after the videos put put out. But the reason it's interesting is because me and you, if you didn't watch the last video, were tied Oof. heading into this week. Oof. So Treeb had an awful week as yes. well because there were so many star frames that did not hit. Yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of star frames that did not hit. Yeah. And. I had six points to bring my total up to 65 points. All right. I were either exactly the same or I got like one or two more than you. I'm not 100% sure. There, there are some games on there that you might have, like, I picked the Bears to be the same. It's like right there. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll pick up some points there. But All right, Fitz. Well... We're still not in double digits, you know. We just mm. we wish we we aim for Fitz numbers. But yeah, we wish we tried. But we go for Breeze. Yep, but we got a Breeze <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> we got nine points. Oh, holy fuck! Did you? Really? Um, yeah, I, you I missed. Up. I missed a lot of the games. The Panthers, the Packers, the Titans, but I managed to get nine points. We had hit hit our upset Denver over. The Chargers in a zero with zero seconds on the clock. They that, threw a yeah. dot for a touchdown. Drew I, I love dots. Yeah, I, I love too. the dots. And then, <laughs> I love 
dipping dots, dip throwing and dots, dots, whatever. All kinds of dots. Yeah. Connecting well, dipping dots for sure. You know, <laughs> used to be the theme park go to. You know. Yeah. Anyway, the Buccaneers. I also locked them. We got nine points. We had sixty-four last week. Add nine to the total. Seventy-three. Not bad. Quick maps. Quick maps. Seventy-three. Fitz pulling away from Traven Cole, it seems like. Cam, what did you have this week? You know, I'd like to say Fitz is close, but that would be last week. He would be close to me. Mm. Last week mm-hmm. I had 76, and this week I only got 8. So if I'm, if I'm going to do my calculations right, it's only 82 now, which is correct. It's like I'm <laughs> which is correct. 76 to 82, sir. And you had 8 points? Yes, sir. Well, then that would be 84, wouldn't it? 76 plus, plus 8, eight oh, yeah, that is would be 84. 84. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My calculations so, so, is wrong. So, so are you shorting yourself, or what are we doing here? Well, I was going to be generous and help That's you. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We can, we can cut back. you back. I'll but, uh, you <laughs> since, yeah. since, you want, since you want to correct my high ass, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you. We'll let you. We'll let you step so, out a couple uh, pegs. We'll need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. You need it more than I do. That's what we said. No, that's yeah. what I said. I said we need it. Uh, so are we gonna go for the the eighty four? Yes, sir. I think okay, we should drop back to forty seven. Yes, sir. Forty yes, <laughs> seven. Yeah, that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> you're just jealous because I'm, I'm winning and I'm better. You know what? Next year, that's what we should do. To, we should bet. No, to make this no to make the this wild punishment. next year, we should put numbers out there that are tarnished. So, like, if we hit that number, your number goes down. You have to like go back. Darts. You have to yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. You have, you have to go back. Then. We should, yes. and it's a random number every year. You hit that number. Unfortunately, that week I put I got that point and it hit. You have to go down to a point total and try to make it back. So if you, have, if you hit Drew Brees or Larry Fitz, you no. get an extra two points. No, not every week. I'm talking like a point total, like 78. Somebody accidentally hits 78, they have to go down. I like it. I like it. New ideas for the, for next com- year. For the coming up seasons. But let's start off, boys, for week number nine. We got a Thursday night game that... Isn't too bad of a matchup. We got the Packers. We got the 49ers. Colch, who you got in this one? I got the Packers. I think it's just going to be too easy. Didn't really think too much about it. Yeah, I didn't take too much. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers will bounce back. You know, he had a tough loss against Minnesota, but it's what Minnesota does. It's what Kirk Cousins does. Kirk Cousins sneaks one out every once in a while. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, on the back of Dalvin Cook. <laughs> <laughs> 160 yards rushing, three touchdowns, and 60-yard bubble screen for a touchdown. Don't be hating on my man Kirk Cousins, though. 220 yards from Dalvin Cook and four touchdowns. They won 28-22. to It was all Dalvin Cook. There was no Kirk Cousins. Someone had the hand on the ball. Fats, who do you got in this one? <laughs> I'm taking the Packers. <laughs> A.J. Dillon's on the COVID list. Jamal Williams is on the COVID list. The running backs are just tarnished. But uh, I think Rodgers bounced back. I think Devontae Adams has 200 yards, two touchdowns from Rodgers. And I think they get it done. The Niners are just hurt right now. Kittle just went on the IR. Garoppolo's back on the IR. I like Nick Mullins. I think he'll have, like, two touchdowns, zero picks. But he just won't keep up with the Packers. All right, Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, I'm going to have to go with the Packers on that one, too. Um, it wasn't a really hard hard choice for me. I'm not really liking the 49ers this year. So I'm going to have to go with the Packers. I'm liking the way Aaron Rodgers is playing. You know, I am also going to take the Packers, so that is going to result in the first star frame. $5 charity of your choice. And, again, we are just hot on... Thursday Pick, night star frames. Picking up Thursday night star frames. That is the seventh out of nine wow. weeks that we have opened up a picks video with a star frame. Coming up next, we got the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. We got Jake Luton making his NFL debut. You guys should be excited. He's an nearby. ex. Idaho Vandal. Didn't no play, way. Didn't, really? <laughs> didn't play a single snap for him. Nah. But he was a backup. But then he went on to go play Pac-12 football for Oregon State and played average and got drafted this year in the oh, seventh round by us. 
I didn't know that. Yeah. What a beast. <laughs> He's like, fuck Idaho, I'm out of here. <laughs> he called Richardson, came onto the scene, he knew that he was it was out over. of there. And now he's the quarterback for the Jaguars, and they're going to play the Houston Texans, and the tank train is still going to go on, and the Jaguars are going to lose by this one. Lose this one by a lot, and that's why I'm going to take the Texans, and I am going to lock the Houston Texans to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh God. <laughs> with Jake Luton under center. Cole, who do you got? That was kind of hardcore of yourself to do that. But I'm choosing the Texans. Jags are shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jags suck, man. Dude, I, there's, I wish... not a, there's not a single person that will disagree with you. Oh, yeah. Right. I wish the Jags the best. No, I really don't, actually. Dude, we're going to end your undefeated streak with Jake Luton. Week no. 10. I don't know about that. <laughs> Next week, dude, we play the Steelers. Only if you guys be, had, if you guys had 50. If you guys had Leonard... Fournette, you guys would win against. Well, now we have James Robinson. He still ain't going to do shit. (laughs) It was... Leonard Fournette was our kryptonite. That's true. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, this is going to be, I think, going to be a star frame because I'm going to have to go with Texans. I'm pretty sure Fitz is going to go there, too. And Fitz, who do you got? I'm locking the Texans with you. And that's going to be a star frame! frame. $5 charity. Your choice. And you know what? I think Will Forler, he just wanted to be traded. I think he's going to have two touchdowns this week from Deshaun Watson. He's going to say, I know we, we didn't trade you, you know, but let's bring love back. Let's get it done together. Mm-hmm. And it's going to happen. Yeah, the Texans are going to absolutely annihilate the Jacksonville Jaguars this week. But the tank is on, and the Jaguars need it for the future. Coming up next, we got an NFC East matchup that I think is pretty hard to pick from. We got the Giants, we got the Redskins. Fitz, who you got in this one? Or the football team, excuse me. Fitz, who you got in this one? God damn. Mm. <laughs> Awful. I'm glad it wasn't me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Typically it's me. People expect it to be you. Yep. So uh, I'm going to take the football team. Now, I like Daniel Jones. I like what he did against Tom Brady. He put up a fight, and I think that was pass interference. I think he should have at least got another chance to tie the ball clean. game. But I do think that the, the football team has got this. I think Gibson's going to get it going. I think Kyle Allen has got it. He's starting to work it with Riverboat Ron, you know. Took a minute, but they've already had chemistry with the Panthers. I think it's going to be a close one. But they're going to win by a field goal kick. All right, Cole, Judy on this one. I got the Giants as well. Uh, it's, for me, it's a coin flip. So you're taking the Giants? Yeah. All right. And you took the football team. I took right? the football okay, all right. team. Alright, the coin flip. Cam, who do you got? You know, I'm thinking it's going to be an upset win for the Giants. Yeah? Did the Giants take this one? Yeah, I'm thinking the Giants get the upset win, and that I might have too many uh, really upset wins that I really can choose, though, so this has got to be it. The Giants for the upset of the week. I'm taking the Giants, too. I liked what Daniel Jones did a little bit. I still hope the Giants, and I need the Giants to win, too, so then the Jags can move up in the draft order. We're going to ruin a fucking star frame, Fitz. Yeah, it's Fitz ruining the star frame. The game that I think is a coin toss. Yeah. This is a game that's a coin toss. Yeah, perfect. Know? Yeah, so, I think so too. It works for me. So a three to one. Three to one. I think that's the most common result in these picks. It's a three to one result. Coming up next, we got the Ravens and the Colts. Colts, you got this one. And so I'm just saying this right now. I I know I don't have many that I can upset. Yeah. So I looked up the record, and technically it'll be an upset. Okay. I'm taking the Colts over the Ravens. There you go. Okay, I I, I want to try to pick a larger margin, but I don't think I can. There's not much there. I mean, the Colts, I like, I like it. I think I like the Colts. I mean, the Ravens just got... If I'm being honest, they got this punished. is a coin toss-up for me. I think this, so, yeah. this game for me well, is a Well, because, I mean, toss-up. their record is pretty similar. But... Yeah, but but they're both playing. I like that kicker with glasses, Rigoberto Blankenship. He's out there mm-hmm. kicking 50-yard field goals but, for the Colts. And they're both playing really... If I'm being honest, but their offense and defense are both playing real good. 
And that's like hot and cold between it's like Colts, solid teams. Colts yeah. third rush defense against one of the best rush offenses in the league. Both so those backs like almost had 100 it, rushing yards. It's hard, week. man. I mean, they ran all over Pittsburgh. Yeah, 220 so. yards. So I feel like mm-hmm. that. So I feel like I feel like this game, they're both going to be hot, and it's just going to be there. It's going to be won by a field goal. Who you take? The Ravens. I'm going with the Ravens. That's who you got. I'm going to take the Ravens because I think Justin Tucker's going to hit the game winner. He yeah. doesn't miss. He does he not miss. Yeah, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And Something I think like it'll be ice in his veins. Thirty-one <laughs> yeah. twenty-eight. It'll be close. I think Rivers will fight. He knows it Rivers by. Will be like, I think we can beat this team, guys. I feel like he nails it by a forty-five-yard field goal. I, I think it's gonna be deeper. I think it's like six. Oh, six, I don't know about that. Sixty yarder. Maybe fifty-seven. Maybe, 50, I'm maybe 50, sh- fifty-five at the furthest. Fifty-nine. He's not. You can't kick that far. Come on. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Not anymore. And He's good for sixty-four. I think Mark Andrews bounces back, has two touchdowns against the Colts. I can see that. I'm gonna take the Ravens too. Lamar Jackson throws three interceptions. The Ravens win despite. That. He rushes for 100 yards. <laughs> yeah, despite Lamar turning the ball over. Michael Biggs, 2.0. Exactly. Coming up next, we have the Vikings and the Lions. Fitz, who do you got? This one's ugly. Yeah. AP is back for some more. Half the the Bryce, Bryce's old running back praise of the week. No, but he's every week. He's no, getting hundred yards, isn't he? Either right? no, he's gonna average four point three yards no, per carry. He isn't. he isn't because he struggled. But I think Minnesota beats Detroit by three touchdowns. I think Minnesota comes out. I really like how Dalvin ran. Uh, I think Kirk Cousins is actually gonna do something this week. Last week he just read ran Dalvin Cook's coattails and said we got a dub over Rodgers. So I think this week. Kirk Cousins throws three touchdowns, gets one to Jefferson, two to Thielen, and they win by 21 plus. There you go. I'm going to also take the Vikings, and I also think the Vikings kind of ride this momentum not too far to maybe a playoff spot, but, you know, back to a back to an average record, you know, average enough to where Zimmer keeps his job probably. And Cole Trudy got in this one. You took the words right out of my mouth. Like they're gonna make a little bit of a run, nothing <laughs> too special, you know, few games, but I'm gonna take the Vikings. Always on the same level, you and I. Mm-hmm. Cam, who do you got? You know, I really want to choose the Lions because I don't know why, but I'm, I'm really liking the Lions this year. I don't yeah, know. Why. They're they're hot and cold this year, kind of like every year. I, I don't know, <laughs> but like I I feel like it, I feel like if they got rid of Matt Stafford. Hi, uh, what? Matt Stafford's elite. I feel Man. like if they got rid of Matt Stafford, nobody gives him credit. <laughs> he's good, but he's, he's okay. he chokes a lot. He chokes too much. Uh, I mean, they lost forty-one to twenty-one. But did you see that pass from him this week? Yeah. From the fifteen yard line yeah. to the yeah, twenty five yeah, 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 opposing. Yeah, yeah. I could do that. Sixty I could, yards I could air time. Flat I could foot. do that. I could do that. He's but like still. I'm like he's still got a cannon. Oh yeah, no he, doubt. Just they, gotta give him the line. They 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 just need to get him gone. Uh, but I'm choosing the Vikings. All right, and that is gonna equal out to our third star frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. Honestly, surprised that one was a star frame. I thought that one was gonna be a little more split. I almost chose the Lions. I th- I thought uh I thought Cold was gonna choose the Lions. You know I'm all about the Vikings. You know he's the Kirk Cousins I, guy. I choose him almost every week. <laughs> they would be lie. almost like 14-2 probably if it <laughs> bounced out the rest of the season with Colts. <laughs> we, like, exactly. oh, we had the number that one back. seed Vikings. Mm-hmm. We got the uh, Chicago Bears going up against the Tennessee Titans, and this is another team that would probably be undefeated if we look back at Colts picks and see who he picks each week. Colts, who do you got in this one? The Titans, man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I only picked the Titans to lose once this year, and they did. Pittsburgh. <laughs> and they yeah, did. man. It's it's too easy. Ryan Tannehill. Four touchdowns, 465 yards, Ooh. two interceptions <laughs> to level it all out. He's balling out. No, he's not. Oh, yeah. Cam, who do you got this one? 
Titans. DH. DH. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get the one DH in there. Shouts out to Jameson. Fit who you got this one. I'm taking the Titans. It's got to be. Because DH, I, j- I just think DH is going to run wild. You know? Yeah. Nick Foles can't keep up. Their offense is made for just deep shots. And I think the Titans kind of cleaned up their defense this week with getting rid of Vic Beasley and Jonathan Joseph. They kind of struggled in coverage. He's older, 15th season. Yeah, so. I feel bad about Big, Big Beasley. He used yeah. to be the top sack leader in 2018. He's just not, he's not there, man. <laughs> he's not there. He's not there. Uh, but DH, I think he'll get 150 yards. Well, I'm going to have to ruin a star frame because I'm choosing the Bears to upset the Titans for my upset of the week. The upsets are getting narrow. That hurt, man. That and hurt. Big Dick Nick is going to uh. put his dick inside of Nick, inside of Nick Foles, inside of Ryan Tannehill. And throw for 500 yards and seven touchdowns. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's one of his 2013 games. It yeah, puts I know about the that. Bears back on track. Yeah, I know about that partner. That's what's going to happen. I can see it. That's what's gonna happen. Dude, he's, he's due. He's, he's due. past due. Dude, he's, he's due for a, big, for a big game. Coming up next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Carolina Panthers. This is my upset of the week. Hey, man. Oh, boy. I'm taking the Panthers. You know, the Chiefs have been, you know? the Chiefs have been cutting it close the past few weeks with everybody, I feel like. Even even with the Jets at the start, the Jets had a, a like it was like three to seven, and I was like, why is the Jets even close right now? This is ridiculous. The Chiefs are the best team in the league, but I just think the Christian best, McCaffrey is Christian McCaffrey's coming back. I think that he'll do good. I like what Mike Davis does too. I think they'll do a little bit of checking in where he does rushing and maybe McCaffrey in the slot receiving. I like Robbie Anderson. Always love Robbie Anderson. I think he'll have a bounce back week. 150 yards and a touchdown from Teddy Bridge. I like the way he's hooking up. I think Teddy Bridge has a four touchdown week and Christian McCaffrey gets two of them. It's going to be a bounce back. Barn Burner, 31-27. Shouts out to Teddy Ballwater. Mm-hmm. Cam, who do you got in this one? This is a no-brainer for me. I'm going to have to go for the Chiefs. I think, you know, it's almost too easy. What would you got? I wanted to choose the Panthers as my upset, but it's just too hard to pick against the Chiefs. So I chose Kansas City. It is very, very hard to pick against the Chiefs. All the love in the world to my boys Robbie Anderson and Teddy Bonewater, but... Oh, I love two glove Teddy. Yeah, dude. All the love in the world to both those men, but we are going to take the Kansas City Chiefs. Coming up next, we got the Seattle Seahawks and the Buffalo Bills. And my bold prediction of the week is this game has a combined 1,000 yards of offense. I could see it, man. Josh Allen and Russell Wilson both throw over 450 yards. And it is just an offensive heavy game. And the Seahawks barely inch it out with a DK Metcalf final drive touchdown. Oof. No, Tyler Lockett. Okay, it's going to be a DK week this week. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to go with the Hawks. They're just playing too good. If only if their defense was played a little bit better, they would be literally unstoppable. But I'm going to go with the Hawks. All right, Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Seahawks, and I think you're both wrong here. I think it could be both their weeks this week. I, can, I see them both having 100 yards, and I see them both having a touchdown. I think Seattle keeps hot. I think Russ might. I could see him throwing for like five TDs, but I don't think the Bills keep up. I think the Bills are going to fall behind, and we're going to show why they're not playoff competitor Russ status yet. Fair enough, and Cole, who do you got? I got the Seahawks, and kind of a bold prediction. You won't see Russell play in the fourth quarter. Because they'll be winning by that much. 
That's too bold. Dang, that so we're going with a blowout. I'm thinking close. This early. No. Either way, we're talking about another Star, Star Frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. Few and far between this week with the Star Frames. Coming up next, this one I think is a crapshoot as well. And you know, for picks. You know, when you get later into the season when they have games like this, I mean, these are going to be the hardest games to pick. The Atlanta Falcons and the Denver Broncos. That's who you got. Well, I took Denver as my upset of the week last week, and I'm riding the wave. I think Denver's going to get it done. I think it'll be really close. I think Noah Font's going to bounce back, have a 100-yard week and a touchdown. Uh, I like this run game. Philip Lindsay looks good. This Broncos team, they always kind of ride a couple W's, keep their record around, you know, 6 and 10, 7, 9, 8 and 8, around there every year. So I think this is just one of those games they win in a close one. All right, and Cam, what do you got? You know, I'm going to have to agree with Fitz there. Uh, I almost even put uh, Noah Fant on my fantasy line this week instead of Rob Gronkowski. I almost changed that up. Um, but uh, I didn't. I kept Gronk in. But I'm still going to have to go with the Broncos this week. I, I, they were... They, they kept up close with the Bucks, and I really liked that. Uh, not the not, Nuggets, the Bucks, um, but um, the Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers. I really liked. I really liked how. I really liked the game. So I'm gonna have to go with them again. All right, cold you got. I'm feeling the ice, man. I'm feeling the ice, man. Matty Ice, Falcons. I think his name has been revoked. As Matty Ice. It's not Matty Ice anymore. It's I just think Matt. Matt Stafford has took the title as when he went down in the ice man. in his veins. He doesn't have And won ice the career. Man. Not like Matty Ice, man. He has, he's the second most, you, career, second most career winning drives yeah. behind Drew hey. Brees since 2007. I'm and just saying, this he stole week, the man. title. Okay, well, this week, Matt Ryan's going to take it back. All right. Uh oh. Too easy. How many TDs from Matty Ice? Dude, five, six, seven. Five. Maybe eight oh, for the record. Maybe going for Dude, the record. he might. <laughs> record seven. I and think a, it's going to be a blowout. 43 to three. Ooh. Like it. Ouchie. You know what? I'm going to. You just got me riled up. I'm going <laughs> to ride the, uh, I'm gonna ride the Matty Ice wave as well. We're going to split the room two to two. Calvin Ridley has 100. And 50 yards receiving with two touchdowns. I think you, he might be hurt. Is he really? He yeah, is. hurt his toe. <laughs> he's hurt. Yeah, no, he's I, don't have, hurt. I don't have him on freaking. Yeah, he's I do. <laughs> so, Jamin traded for him in our, in our league. Yeah. And six hours later on Thursday night, he hurt his butt. Oh, and it was no. Done, so. Uh, Gage. Yeah. Is Julio. Getting, no, Julio. I, I, yeah. Ever since I had Julio. Julio, three yards, 300 yards. Three catches. Three, three, three touchdowns, yeah. 300 yards. I can see it. He's done it before. Perfect. Three catches. Randy Moss. Three catches. Three catches. 99 three yards apiece. Randy Moss, three catches, three touchdowns. On Built. Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Built different. We'll never do it again. Chargers, Raiders. Bets. What do you got? I'm taking the Raiders. I like Josh Jacobs. He bounced back. 30, 31 carries, 128 yards against the, the Browns. I think he's going to keep the 100-yard streak going. I think the Raiders win by a lot. I really like Ruggs, what he's doing. He's their deep threat. Waller's just always a threat. And then when he can kind of bell cow it with Jacobs like they've been doing, I think it's working for him. This is a playoff team, and I really like the Raiders. They're going. Holt? I'm choosing the Raiders as my lock this week. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they're a lot better than Chargers. The playoff team, I think. That's just facts. Let me tell you this. I'm going to ride the Justin Herbert wave this week. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to... Uh, He's kept him close in everything, every game. Yeah. And I'm going to say uh, he figures it out. He, he, he goes against John Gruden's team. He figures it out. I mean, he, he figured it out against Drew Brees. He's figured it out against Tom Brady. And now he has to go up against a veteran coach like John Burden. And Derek Carr, who Loki is actually playing really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of good for this QB, too. Like a rookie QB to go through this kind of gauntlet. Like, 
he faces John Gruden, uh, that type of style head coach, who's he's an amazing head coach, twice a year. He faces Andy Reid and the Mahomes train twice a year. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he gets all these wide variety of games that he has to go against Brady, Breeze. Like, that's, that's a good schedule for a rookie to just, like, learn the ropes and, and get is. going. It so, honestly is. Yeah. Okay, I've already got this one. I'm going to have to go with the Raiders on this one. All right, so I'm hoping for Herbert to pull that one out in a big way for me to try and at least take a lead over Colge, maybe try and sneak and get second place over Fitz. Now we got the Cardinals and the Dolphins. And Fitz, what do you know? Well, you know. Yeah, what do you know about well, this game? You know, we're coming off a bye week. Yeah, so it's almost too easy for you, huh? Well, I don't think it's too easy now. That's a little much. I think it'll be close. I think the Cardinals will get it done, though, because our offense is playing really good. I think we're going to continue to play good, even with Kenyon Drake out. I don't really care. I think Edmonds has 100 yards all-purpose, two touchdowns. Uh, Kenyon, I just like this team. I really Arizona's been playing good. We, we have a good mentality towards it. Miles Gaskin's out. I think that's a big loss to the run game. Uh, I think you get them one-dimensional already, and then you just kind of blitz to a... You, Hopefully get him pressured. So. See, this is where it hurts where you put Tua in a little bit early with Miles Gaskin getting hurt because now you don't really have a run game to rely on. And now you're relying on Tua. See, now if you're relying on Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's he's got experience. You know? yeah. <laughs> he, he, he does things that veteran moves that are just kind of a little out there that get it done sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Yeah, and I'm going to take the Cardinals too. I'm going to say Kyler Murray gets it done. I don't think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be 38-13. I could see it being a blowout just because last week the Dolphins beat the Rams who are a complete playoff team, but it was special teams, defensive touchdown, special teams touchdown. You can't get that every week, so it could go either way. All right, Cole, who you got? So what I did, I circled the Cardinals – but then I remembered, every time I choose the Cardinals, they lose. They do. So, I picked the Dolphins. Yeah. I scratched it out, and I just so wrote the Dolphins. So if he picks the Cardinals, then we're going to just win, because you didn't pick us. Well, that was my first guess. So, they're going to lose. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Dolphins are doing this way. Cam, who do you got in this one? I'll put them in the driver's seat. For the no. Division. I almost, I, I don't think I blocked the Cardinals. But if I haven't, I'm locking them this week. Okay. Hold on. Some cards. Plain and simple. I'm liking them. I'm liking Kyler Murray. I'm not, I don't think Tua is going to be able to keep up with that. Um, even though the Dolphins are looking pretty good. But I, just, I don't think the offense is going to be able to keep up with Kyler. So, Cardinals on the lock right there, sir. All right, now coming up next, I think, is a uh, game we can kind of get a clean, clean sweep on here. Let's talk about the best quarterback in the NFL, Ben DiNucci. Ben Bucky DiNucci. I've been DiNucci. seeing so many memes yeah, about it. If you need a real quarterback, you need to put in. da 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 Ben DiNucci. Yeah, <laughs> I just throws a fucking bomber yeah, into some dude. Amari Cooper, and it's yeah. just like, bam! Like, have you seen the Trace McSorley ones? Yeah, I saw that. Now that now that he wants to be traded, though, that they they're like, if you want a real quarterback that's loyal to your team, you put in Ben DiNucci. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But Ben DiNucci's facing the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I don't think this one's gonna be close, boys. I'm I'm thinking. Ben DiNucci's gonna look scared, but you know, you know what's gonna be cool is this game ain't gonna be close, but it's gonna be cool seeing Garrett Gilbert get some playing time, hopefully. So that's always gonna be cool. XAAF guy, we like him. So we're gonna take Pittsburgh. Cold shit, he got. Man, you gotta choose Pittsburgh. It's too easy. Like I, they're undefeated, and they're I think they're gonna go undefeated. They have a realistic chance. The only people we really have to worry about is the Ravens again, which is always a possibility. 
and then the Bills. Yeah. And I still feel like the Bills. And then the next best is the Colts for the rest of our season. Yeah, the next three you're definitely winning. Yeah, like, I think Pittsburgh's going to go undefeated. That is insane. The for the regular season. One off on you. Huh? I have a gut feeling that the Browns are the Browns? Off on you. No. This year. No way. When Nick Chubb gets back, he'll start to rumble. And then he'll get to rumbling against you guys. We stuffed him. Can't you didn't stuff those Ravens running back. No. It's a no-brainer for me. You know I'm going to choose the Steelers. I was going to say Ben DiNucci, but... Ben DiNucci. Ben DiNucci. <laughs> <laughs> but no, definitely the Steelers. And Fitz closes off for this one. I'm taking the Steelers. I think Bud Dupree has a strip sack. I think T.J. Watt has a strip sack. I think Big Ben, we going for five TDs today. Right. Two to Claypool. These are all two to Juju. Cakes. <laughs> I, think, I just think it's just you guys are going to eat it up. Yeah. The whole the whole team, even without Cam Hayward, you guys are going to roll. This team's too good. Cowboys are they're in their own heads, even to play football. They they're already fumbling before the game started, so it's over. It's not even going to be close. Alright, so that's going to be our fifth Star Frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. I think we Star Framed on the Steelers every every week. Pretty damn well, I mean, it's almost too I think we have. It's it's too easy, bro. We just <laughs> too easy. Except, well, actually, I don't know about except, last week. Except for maybe here. Cleveland. I wasn't here last week. I didn't pick the Titans. I picked. Well, the Steelers. The, yeah, I picked the I Steelers. The Steelers. I picked the Steelers as well. And also, we were very impressed with your Sunday night last week. <clears throat> so right now you got our uh, first live edition of Sunday night in a couple of weeks. So mm-hmm. we're very excited. So everybody, oh, man. quiet the set. <laughs> I always forget the about studio. this. What <clears throat> Sunday night game? We got, we, we'll announce it, we'll announce it. Sunday night! Wow, dude, it's, it's the lights, dude. The lights, man. The Christmas spirit. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, freaking oh, it's a Christmas oh. miracle. Kelly Clarkson better watch out because her job's gonna get got. I didn't even see that. That's why. Yeah. This is. I was up there and I was looking at that. This is a yeah. good, like, good game. Yeah, these yeah. guys are these are these guys are plotting on the side. <laughs> we we got a game that in week one I was kind of upset wasn't a prime time game, but we do get it on prime time. This week we got two guys that are battling for the all-time passing touchdown mark. Uh, back and forth each week we got Tom Brady and Drew Brees, the Bucks and the Saints. Culture you got? I got the Bucks, man. I don't think Brees is gonna pull it off this time. All right, Cam, who do you got? You know who I'm choosing. I'm choosing the Buccaneers, baby. You know I think Tampa Bay is gonna win this one too. I think. Like I said, I think Tom Brady, like, low-key. He's playing just like how Tom Brady does. Every year he's a threat yeah. to win the MVP trophy. You know? And especially now that they got Antonio Brown in. Yeah, it's no good. Oh, yeah. He's at least is he gonna, playing this game? He's playing this game. He's at least going to get at least one touchdown, four, two catches, 44 yards. <laughs> Tom, Tom Brady is the only other guy other than Big Ben to throw him a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is... Cash money. <laughs> that, that, that's straight cash, homie. That's that's seven that's seven fucking rings for Tom Brady, bro. Not this year. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And Col- I mean, Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Saints. Oh, all right. Because you guys are taking the Bucks. And I think that this game is so close that it could go either way. So, so you know, you got two all-time legends at the QB position. Michael Thomas will be back. Emmanuel Sanders will be back. Jared Mm. Cook is going to play. Alvin Kamara is going to be just fine. He's going to be even more opened up than he already has been the whole season. Brady Brady has a (laughs) die, but Brady's not going to be able to keep alive a whole... Saints yeah, offense. That's, 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 dude, but they Tampa lost Bay's week defense one. is the best in the league. They lost week one to the Saints. They're going to lose. They're going to lose again. And that was without Thomas and everything that they've had. They didn't even trade for Sanders by that time. Sanders wasn't even on the roster. 
I think this Saints team is going to get it done. It'll be close. Brady will have a good game. No, Brady, but it gets, won't Brady gets the dub. All right, so no star frame on that one. And now we got a terrible, terrible Monday night game. To close it out, we got an AFC East battle. The Patriots, the Jets. Cam, do the Patriots finally get right on Monday night? Yeah. The Jets. Yeah. They make the Jets still say winless. All right, Colt, what do you got? Yeah, the Jets, I think we've all said it at least once. The Jets are the worst team in the NFL. This might be the worst team ever in NFL history. I don't know. So I'm going to choose the Pats. I'm, I'm going to roll with the Patriots, too. I was gonna. I was thinking about picking the Jets. Just fuck around. But after my spiel, just <laughs> fuck around. But no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Patriots. Fed to the odd. I am taking the Patriots, but I just want to say, Frank Gore still <laughs> the best back in the system. Had the best yards for carry out of the backfield against for the Jets last week. Guess what? I think it's gonna be twenty-seven to nine. You know what? That's going to be three field goals, and they're all going to be set up by Frank Gore getting them in field goal range because the Patriots' defense has been ass against the run the past three weeks. We have. So we have. I think Frank Gore, very well, if they give him the totes, could have at least 100 yards on the ground. All right, and to end off those picks, that is going to be our sixth star, star frame. frame. Five dollars, Terry, of... Your choice. And that is also going to be the tie, the least amount of star frames that we've ever had in a picks video with only six. This season, man. I'm feeling good. I think I'm going to get the most points next week. I think you're going to itch closer, think, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, and then one more question for your boys to end the night, midseason. What is the Super Bowl matchup going to be? Off the dome, right here, right now. The Seahawks and the Steelers. Seahawks and the Steelers, Cam. I have to agree with that one, or the C or the Steelers and the Cardinals. That's well, the Steelers are gonna forget about Larry this time because he's getting buried behind depth. Watch out, Larry's coming for the bowl this time. Steel City, you better watch out. We want revenge. I'm going to go something weird. I think the Super Bowl is going to be weird. I'm going to say the Bucks and the Titans. Definitely not the Titans. Man, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a barn burn. <laughs> that, that would be... I would watch that. <laughs> I would like to see that Super Bowl. I'm going right. to say it right here. That's my midseason Super Bowl prediction. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Tennessee Titans. I like it, man. Who would have thought? All righty, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our week number nine picks, locks, and upsets. If you guys can, don't forget, go ahead and check all the links down below. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel three days a week, and nobody outworking me. Those are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.